Hey, welcome back to Twin Cities Live. Lots of us grew up with Sesame Street. Maybe your kid is growing up with Sesame Street. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of great lessons to be had on the show, not just for kids, including one about breathing exercises, which... To okay. calm you down. To calm down. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah. You need to count the candles one by one as you breathe deep and blow them out like this. Watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> oh. See, that's, that's how you do it. Okay, that yeah, is yeah, so yeah, good. Dr. Perfect. Karen Ryan is a psychologist with Nystrom and Associates, and she is here to help us with other kinds of breathing exercises and explain how they help us. I was just telling you before we came on the air that, that my kids have been teaching me breathing exercises because they're learning them at school. I think teachers are finding this to be so helpful in order to help regulate emotions, and more mm -hmm. adults should probably be taking notes. Absolutely. The emotional... Um, wellness classes and like little lessons they're having in school we all could use. It's the yes. things I learned in kindergarten. We need reminders as adults. And what yeah. a joy you're here on Pink Pants Day. I know. Who knew? Uh, yes, look at this, folks. Join in the party. <laughs> we're rocking it. Yeah, we okay, are. so why do these make such a big difference? Because yeah. you're going to show us some breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. We're going to all do them together, which will be fun. But talk a little bit about like the mind-body connection and what's happening. When you think about when you're stressed, we tend to hold our shoulders tight, we get tight, and then we take real shallow breaths, yeah. right? We tend to... Oh, those shallow breath, mm -hmm. especially when we're high, high anxiety. Well, you think about what breathing is. Breathing is taking in oxygen, right? Oxygen goes to our red blood cells, gives us energy, right? And then we release carbon dioxide, the bad gas, mm -hmm. right? And so the goal in a deep breath is to take in more oxygen, which decreases our respiration, decreases our heart rate, lowers our blood pressure, like de detoxifies and actually helps with digestion. Oh. So the deeper breath we take, the better, but we can get out of habit of taking deep breaths. Okay. I'm, in, I'm in a bad habit of short breaths. Yeah. So let's, mm -hmm. Sometimes let's, you can forget. Do you ever just go like, oh, I think I was forgetting to breathe? All the time. Yeah. yeah. All the time. It's not a good feeling. Okay, so belly breathing belly is breathing. one that my seven-year-old has been talking a lot about. What does this yeah. mean? So belly breathing is highlighting and really helping you get from taking those shallow chest breaths to taking a deep belly breath. Ah. Okay. So the, the one of the t techniques I want to teach you first is okay. belly breathing. Because mm -hmm. it's like, where is my belly? How do I make sure I'm breathing from my belly? Yeah, I know so where my belly your, is. So start with one of your thumbs and you put it in, <laughs> right on your belly button. Okay. And then the palm is below it. Okay. That's how low a belly breath is. It's right? not like up here. Mm -mm. Mm. Right? And so the goal, and then you can put another hand on your chest. And the goal then is to get your belly to rise and fall. Mm. So if I I sit back and I breathe in my belly, you can see it goes. Yeah, it's like Chipotle burrito, non Chipotle burrito. Yes. Chipotle <laughs> and you burrito really no. have to relax to get yourself to do that. One thing that can be helpful is to first exhale because then you have the space to take in. Yeah, so you. Okay, this is good. You know, when I was a kid and I took voice lessons then... in my pre singing career life, mm -hmm. but I used to, Carol Lynn, my voice teacher, would have me lay on the floor and she would put a book on my stomach and yes. then she would, I would learn how to breathe from my diaphragm and so then you would have to, you'd watch the book go up and down. That was like oh. the early lessons when I was exactly. very young. Exactly. Breathing through the nose or the mouth, does it not doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so the, that the goal in. is to feel that rise and fall in the belly and laying down or sitting back really helps you to feel that. Okay, yeah. what does it mean when you're doing box breathing? Box breathing or square breathing. Mm. Lots of people really like this. One of my friends loves it. She's like, it's even. It's concrete. I can do it. <laughs> I like this person. Mm -hmm. She's great. <laughs> so what it is, is is visualizing a box and holding each side for a count. All right. So if I'm visualizing the box, I'm going to start here and I'm going to exhale and hold and inhale and hold and exhale. Oh, wow. And hold. And how long do you do this for? I love that you asked that. Oftentimes what we do, um, we don't do the deep breathing justice because we take one or two. We're like, oh, I did it, I'm not better, right? <laughs> or like one time my daughter was like, oh, didn't help mom. <laughs> so what can be helpful is to set a timer because it can feel really overwhelming to feel like I have to sit for 10 minutes, how long? I encourage you to take your phone two minutes. Yeah. And then you have to say, I don't have to worry about how long it is. I don't have to worry about time. I'm going to take two minutes and just... That square thing is nice. Is it, That's useful. Everybody can do that together. You love four, four corners. That. Yeah, I, four corners feels good. I kind of want the circle version yeah, myself, that doesn't but that's surprise okay. Me. But that would absolutely work, mm -hmm. right? That yeah. would work. You could go around. So what about hand breathing? Mm -hmm. So hand breathing, this is a tactile thing that can be really helpful. Like you were re re um, reflecting that sometimes people c like breathe on their hands yeah, yeah. or count. That's what my four-year-old This four -year -old is a way does. to get yourself to take 10 deep breaths. And it's also a tactile, which is grounding. Mm. So you take your finger, and as you go up a finger, in, okay. out, in, out. Okay, good. And then you can see I already need to slow it down. Like that's too fast now. 
So now I've already slowed myself down. I and totally now just want to rush through it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you slow it down, okay. Okay, are you trying to do this then when you're finding yourself all worked up, when you're finding, I mean, when do you really need to just take a minute and do this? Mm -hmm. It can be utilized anytime, but in particular when you're really anxious, mm -hmm. when you notice yourself that tense and going that, or you're trying to be patient with somebody who's annoying you, mm. or a child is having an issue, yeah. or a work stress, this is a perfect time to do it. 7.15 in the evening is my time. Yeah. How about you? Oh boy, I know. Things yep. really trying to brush to your teeth. How Everyone's yeah, screaming yep. at my house at 5.30, yep. and that is mm -hmm. the truth of the matter. Okay, before we go, we've got just a few seconds. Let's do this pizza breathing, and yeah. you say this can be a really fun one for I kids, love this too. One. I love this one. I'm in on this one. Because it's really hard for kids to know how to take that deep breath sometimes yeah. and they're teaching it more and more but the example is you take your hands and you imagine that you have a piece of pizza great kids can relate to blowing or cooling things off or like blowing out candles my 18 month old blows, blows out things. candles yeah nice. yes. so you cool the pizza and smell the pizza this one cool works. The pizza. Yeah. you're speaking smell TJ's love language okay there's something about doing it with a visual and that when you and you, you feel it in your hands and it's a and the key I can I want to highlight is deep breathing the more you exhale get that the space. easier it is then to okay inhale okay. start with the exhale Dr. Karen Ryan you are a joy what I a hope treat. everyone did that with us that was very fun I hope they did in two weeks Dr. Karen Ryan is going to be back with us to talk about another effective way to calm down that includes breathing with a healing light exercise these are much better than just telling someone to calm down because people don't respond well to that, <laughs> myself included. Very true. Nystrom and Associates provides care in the fields of psychiatry, psychology, family therapy, and more, and they have 20 locations in the Twin Cities. They're happy to work with couples, families, and people of all ages. And if you're struggling with stress, anxiety, depression, or addiction, reach out to them. They'd be happy to help. All right, with that, we'll be